Man Forever. Written by Andrew Helfler. Based on a screenplay by Akiva Goldsman. Batman was the greatest crime fighter in Gotham City. Whenever criminals tried to break the law, Batman was there to stop them. When they launched a crime spree, Batman would swoop out of the sky on his bat rope or roar down the street in his Batmobile, just in the nick of time. Two-Face was one of the criminals Batman had not caught, yet. Two-Face and his gang committed crimes all over Gotham City. They worked so quickly, no one could keep up with them. Batman was only one man. To stop Two-Face, he would need help. When he wasn't fighting crime, Batman had a secret identity. He was Bruce Wayne, the wealthiest man in Gotham City. Bruce often helped people. One day, he met a young circus acrobat named Dick Grayson. Dick was an orphan and needed a place to live. Bruce invited Dick to stay in Wayne Manor. Dick liked living in the mansion, but he wondered where Bruce went every night. Late one night, Dick went searching for a clue. He discovered a secret door that led to a flight of stairs. Dick followed the stairs down into the darkness. He discovered an underground cavern filled with crime-fighting equipment. Dick couldn't believe his eyes. He was inside the Batcave. And there was the Batmobile. It could only mean one thing. Bruce Wayne was Batman. Meanwhile, across town, a gang of thugs had spotted a woman walking down the lonely streets of Gotham City. The hood sneered as they crept up alongside her. Easy money. <laughs> Then, they snatched her purse and ran. But an instant later, a car came to a screeching halt in front of them. It was no ordinary car. It was the Batmobile. Oh no, it's Batman! The hoodlums knew they were no match for Batman. But when the top of the Batmobile opened, they were surprised to see a young man. Look, that ain't Batman. It's just a kid. We can take him easy. But Dick quickly proved them wrong. He has spent years training as an acrobat. He leapt and dived about, kicking and punching the stun thugs. In no time, he had knocked them all out. After saving the girl, a hand grabbed him and tossed him into the Batmobile. It was Batman, and he was angry. Why can't we fight crime together? You're too young. Besides, Batman fights alone. But Batman would soon need help. In another part of town, a criminal genius called the Riddler was also plotting against him. While the Riddler had the brains to outwit the Batman, he didn't have the muscle to finish him off. The Riddler decided that Two-Face would make a perfect partner in crime. The Riddler tracked down Two-Face and made an offer Two-Face decided to flip a coin. If it comes up heads, we'll join forces. The coin hit the ground, landing heads up. Okay, partner, we have a deal. What's the plan? Tomorrow night, all of Gotham's richest people will be at a big party. You'll crash the party and rob the guests. When Batman arrives to stop you, he'll walk right into our trap. The following night, Two-Face arrived at the party right on schedule and growled at the terrified guests. All right, folks, this is an old-fashioned stick-up. His gang members were so busy robbing everyone, they didn't notice Bruce Wayne slip out of the room. Moments later, he returned as Batman. Begin phase two. Then he ran out into the street and jumped into a nearby manhole. Batman followed him. The manhole led to an abandoned subway tunnel. In the dim light, 
Batman could see someone coming toward him. It was Two-Face, carrying some kind of weapon. You thought you were on my trail, but it was all a trap. Two-Face pointed his weapon at Batman and fired. Two-Face's weapon sent a fireball hurtling toward Batman. Acting quickly, Batman pressed a button on his utility belt. Instantly, his costume was covered with a fireproof coating. The ball of flame hit him full blast, but Batman was protected. Down, 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 Batman sank. I'm finished. There's no way to escape. But just before Batman's head disappeared below the rubble, a green-gloved hand reached for him. With his last ounce of strength, Batman grabbed the hand. An instant later, he himself was being yanked up and out of the pit. It was Dick Grayson. He had followed Batman. I told you, no crime fighting. Aren't you glad I didn't listen? I think it's time we became partners. Since I just saved your life. Uh, okay, you've earned it. But what are we going to call you? My folks used to say I flew like a bird on the flying trapeze. So they called me Robin. Batman and Robin. Hmm. I like the sound of that. From then on, Batman and Robin would be partners, tracking down Two-Face, the Riddler, and every other criminal in Gotham City.